And the winner is... Oh my gosh. Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man 3 is the people's choice for favorite action movie and favorite movie. Thank you. Uh, I'm thrilled. Very, very, very stiff competition this year. Thank you. I love you too. Um, but seeing as how this is the People's Choice Award, uh, I'd like to thank one person. He is my superpower and my secret weapon. He's been my right hand man for the last 10 years. He was there every scene, every day, every sequel, every action movie I've ever done. His name is Jimmy Rich, and he's sitting right there. I'm sorry, Jimmy. You got to stand up. Love you, man. <clears throat> now, back to me. Can I get some more reverb on my voice to make it sound more godlike? <laughs> testing, testing, here we go. Ha ha. Uh, thank you all. Now, uh, spotlight me. Yes. This is more like it. Just disgusting. <laughs> I love it. May I have some triumphant music, please? I am Iron Man, and this is for the people. Thanks a lot. This is really a pleasure. Uh, thank you, people, people, people. Bye-bye. Thanks, hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, thanks, Gina. Thanks, Jennifer. Lovely and talented individuals. Uh, well, this is perfect for me because I, I love people. I'm crazy about movies. And, uh, and I prefer people who love my movies. It's kind of like, uh, well, let me put it this way. My missus and I, we have, we have a boy and we have a newborn at home. And my two-year-old boy said to my wife uh, today, he said, Mama, I'm going to eat you all up and you're never going anywhere ever. And speaking of families, that's kind of, of how I feel that I have this real sense of I love going to movies and I always think what would an audience want to see when I'm picking the roles I would do when I'm performing and working on the scenes or whatever. Um, and I love doing all kinds of movies. You know, I like doing comedies or uh, dramas like The Judge or action movies. I, I enjoy playing a superhero here and there as well. Um, but there's a thing, there's a, there's a showbiz term, it's called a cinema score. And the cinema score has nothing to do with how much money the movie makes or what critics said it was good or wasn't so good. All that matters is when people are walking out of the theater, they stop them and said, what did you think? And so I feel like this award show is kind of like some version of that. And so I'm, I'm actually very grateful. I guess I'll keep my day job. And I'll just uh, end up saying this because I'm going to keep in your good favor. I'm, I want to eat you up and you're never going anywhere. Thank you very kindly. So we are honored to present the Generation Award to our friend, our hero, and our fellow Avenger, the invincible Robert Downey Jr. the first MTV Awards. Thank you, take a knee, y'all. Thank you very much. So the first uh, MTV Movie Awards was in 1992, and I said, wow, that's, that's my generation's version of the Oscars. 
but when the first generation award was given in 2005, I thought simply, where's mine? Uh, and I've spent 10 long years patiently waiting to emerge from a massive, trippy cat head and receive the recognition I've so desired. So thank you for that. Um, <laughs> they're really fun to work with. Uh, and the 34 years that have passed since the birth of MTV, I have uh, I've grown up. I've struggled, I've failed, I've succeeded, I've partied way too much. Therefore, yeah, bring it. I've squandered, resisted, surrendered, repented, labored, begged for second chances, and literally clawed my way to the top. I've, thank you. I've, I've tried to live honorably and never forget my love of the game or my friends. So if a man is judged by the company he keeps, then I must be doing something right because look who I'm rolling with. <laughs> and on behalf of my fellow Avengers, I invite you to dream big, work hard, keep your nose clean, be of service, and yes, because you can, define your generation. I love this next presenter. He's so cool. Um, he's the star of Iron Man. Two girls and a guy. Wonder Boys. Sorry, these porn films. What? <laughs> kiss, kiss, bang, bang. <laughs> Bowfinger. Really? Yeah. Up the Academy. Come on. He has done all those films, but many of you in this room probably know him best from such facilities as the Betty Ford Clinic and Los Angeles County Jail. Please welcome Robert Downey Jr. Aside from the fact uh, that it's been hugely mean-spirited with mildly sinister undertones, I'd say the vibe of the show is pretty good so far, wouldn't you? <laughs> I, uh, I consider myself a veteran of sorts, and I've made uh, somewhat of a study of this. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong. I don't know if an actress can do her best work until I've slept with her. <laughs> Julianne. <clears throat> Told her that I was working with strange new feelings that were confusing me, Angie only to have her blow me off halfway through the shoot like it never happened, Annette. <laughs> or casually mention that her boyfriend is coming for a location visit because he misses her and what they have is real. Then have the gall to invite me to join them at a three top for dinner, Anne. <laughs> Why? Now I'm not trying to creep anyone out, but where's Emma? I, I think I got something for us. It's kind of like a blue Valentine thing, but not age appropriate. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that my theory doesn't hold water, but somehow all of these women rendered exquisite performances without a shred of help from me. So I guess I'm just saying, if I could, I'd give it to all five of you. <laughs> no. At once. <laughs> the award right here center stage in front of my wife the audience and millions of viewers here are the nominees for best actress in a motion picture comedy or musical, or musical. 